Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we will be going through the 2022 movie, The New Toy. It's time to recall. Let's get started. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie starts and we see a funeral going on where many people come to pay their condolences to a man named Philippe. The scene then changes to one year later where we see a man in the market. He is talking up a teapot. He tells them that this teapot is special because it's a double powder. They can pour tea in two cups simultaneously and he goes on to demonstrate that. As he finishes his demonstration, many people come forward to buy his teapots, and there is a bald guy who tells him that he is going to buy all his teapots, but shocks him when he takes out his card. The man turns out to be from the FBI and tells his men to confiscate all the shopkeeper's stuff. The scene changes and we see him walking into his building where he sees a woman named Hermione who is trying to lift something heavy, but he offers her to help with that, and as he is about to do that, a man named Az shows up, and the shopkeeper named Sammy gets a little scared. As goes on to ask Sammy about a man named Nono, and Sammy says that he does not know where Nono is. As tells him that he owes him 600 euros, and Sammy tells As not to lend that guy money, adding that he never pays back. As then says that Nono has one week to return his money or he will face the consequences. His wife comes home and asks about his day. She then asks if he sold any teapots, and he tells her that they were confiscated by a cop, and his wife tells him to do something about it. He says he cannot get them back, but he does have an idea. He says he can go to work for a factory in Lithuania, but she tells him that they cannot move. This is when we see that she is eight months pregnant and she is sick of her husband who is famous for being lazy, cowardly, and jobless. She tells him that they are not going to be able to pay their debts just using her salary and she knows that he has been hiding bills in books. She tells him to get real and find a stable job because he is going to be a father soon. The scene then changes to the man and the boy we saw at the funeral. The man goes on to ask the boy what he wants for his birthday, but the boy tells him that he does not want anything. The rich man named Felipe then offers him many expensive gifts, but the boy says that he does not feel like having any of those. He ends up getting a job as a security guard and keeps being goofy at work too. His job is a big shopping mall. The next day, the rich boy named Alexander is sent to the mall by Felipe, who has been told by him to buy a gift. Andre Pozier, the director of the store himself, tells Alexander to buy a gift and as they walk through the shop, they come across big Spider-Man and Superman statues and between those two statues, we see Sammy sleeping who is a security guard there. As they talk, Sammy wakes up and pretends like he was awake this whole time. Sammy then starts being goofy again and he makes a mess in front of the director and the boy Alexander says that he needs Sammy as his new toy. Andre says that he is a man, so he is not for sale, but Alexander threatens him, saying his father is going to be upset if they don't fulfill his wish, and Andre decides to talk to Sammy. Sammy decides to go home with the boy when Andre offers him a thousand euros, but when they are about to leave, the boy says he wants Sammy to be wrapped and packed in a box because he is a birthday gift after all. Sammy says he is not getting boxed, but Andre tells Sammy to name his price, and Sammy remembers that he has the debt of 3,208, so he asks for 3,208 euros, and Andre agrees. He is taken home in a box, and Alexander takes him to his toy room where he is unwrapped. His guards are shocked to see that he has bought a man as a toy. He tells Sammy that he is going to call him Gunther, but Sammy tells him that he has to call him Sammy, at which Alexander says he has bought him now so he can name him, but Sammy says Alexander has just rented him for a few hours and nothing more. They then play a game where the boy keeps ordering Sammy around, but Sammy defeats him. They then go on a ride on a small car, and Alexander rides it through the whole mansion. This is when his father arrives and his bodyguard tells Felipe about the gift Alexander has bought. They end up hitting a woman who is working and when Sammy tries to help her, the boy starts shouting at him, telling him not to help her. He then orders Sammy to be a police officer and give a ticket to the lady. He then teaches the boy a lesson by putting him in a cabinet when Felipe gets there and asks what's going on. He then tells his son that he cannot keep a human being as a toy. They tell him that he will be paid after dinner and he will be allowed to leave. After a very boring dinner, he is about to collect his check and they make him sign an NDA before paying him. Just as he is about to leave, Alexander shows up and says he wants Sammy for the night. Felipe then comes to Sammy and tells him that this is the first time his son has expressed desire ever since his mother died. He requests him to stay as his son's companion and offers him 2,000 euros a day, and he agrees despite having denied the offer at first, but Felipe has earned him a lot of money, and Sammy needs all of it. That night, he goes to Alexander's room, which is amazing. Sammy feels like he's in Star Trek as there are beds that float in space, and Alexander also has a YouTube channel about astrophysics, and he tells Sammy that one day, he would like to move to space. Later, Alexander goes to sleep while Sammy is in the hall looking at artistic pieces worth millions of euros. Amidst all this, Sammy calls his wife and tells her that he has gotten a job for life. 
The next day, he goes to pick up his clothes to town in a flashy car and everyone is shocked. His wife thinks that he is cheating on her, which is why he is going away, but he assures her that he is not cheating on her. He shows him his first check of 1,000 euros and she is shocked. He then shows her the flashy car and the driver named Henry, who listens to whatever he tells him to do because he is his driver now. When she asks him what he does, he tells her that he has signed an NDA so he cannot tell her that. He then tells her to have this 1,000 euros check and tells her to have as much fun as she can, adding that their bad days are now over. She finally smiles and he tells her that he is going to be making 14,000 euros a week now so they can change their lifestyle now. He makes his way back to the big mansion and they go out to have vanilla milkshakes. When they are drinking, Alexander goes on to reveal that he has no friends because he is super rich, and when you're super rich, you never know who is your true friend because people could very much be pretending to be your friend just for your money. He then tells Sammy that he has to go back to Switzerland within the next 10 days, and Sammy is shocked to learn that because he was thinking his job was going to be a long time thing, but he is just going to make 20,000 euros out of it now. The boy then tells him that he too is in it for the money, and Sammy is told to be on all four and bark like a dog, which he refuses to do. When they get back, Alexander tells him to put on a bunny costume and he refuses to do so. Alexander tells him that they're paying him 20,000 euros, so he's supposed to listen to him. The next thing we see, they're out in the forest and they are there to hunt with big hunting hounds as well. Alexander has brought Sammy there in the bunny suit and Felipe is also there. There are some other rich people too and Alexander tells him that Sammy is his bunny, but Sammy says he is a human and that he is just his rented toy. This is when Alexander gets angry and tells Sammy to run, and when he runs, he tells his hounds to chase him down. The hounds attack Sammy, and he is then rescued by Felipe and his friends. Sammy tells him that he has had enough of it. He tells the rich man that he is leaving, adding that he can shove his money where the sun doesn't shine. He leaves, and Alexander's dad tells him that he has broken his toy now. When Sammy gets back home, he sees that his wife has spent all the money. They have bought new home appliances, and she has even donated some money. He is shocked to see that, but still does not tell her that he has lost the job. The next day, he goes back to his job again, and this time, he and Alexander start having fun. He starts getting through to him, and Alexander starts opening up to him. They then make their way to his treehouse, which is big. There, Alexander has a picture of his mother, and when he sees it, he starts crying. He tells Sammy that when his mother was sick, his dad took her to Stockholm to be treated, but what she really wanted was to be left at the house in peace. He adds that he did not get to spend time with her when she passed away. Sammy then comforts him and tells him about a book he once read. They then start playing on the treehouse and even sleep there that night. The next day, when Sammy is coming back from the forest, he runs into Felipe and tells him that his whole town is about to be laid off because they are going to take down all the buildings there. Felipe says he knows about that too. Sammy then asks the rich man if he can do anything about it, but the rich guy does not say anything. He then asks him how his son is doing, and Sammy tells him that he is getting better, but he does need his father. He then invited Felipe to an activity they are going to have that evening. That evening, Sammy and Alexander watch a football game with some servants, and they seem to be having a lot of fun. Alexander finally starts laughing, and he shows his emotions now. His father rejects a very important meeting and finally comes there to spend time with Alexander, but he has no idea how to show emotions. He sees Alexander being really close to Sammy, and that makes him happy. He himself tries to hug his son, but he has no idea how to do it. That night, Sammy and Felipe talk, and Sammy tells him that he has no emotion. He has the same emotion for good news, bad news, so he needs at least three kinds of facial expressions, and he needs to show his son some warmth. He even goes on to teach him that Felipe is now eager to learn because he wants to be happy with his son and wants a good bond between them too. The next day, when he goes out, Felipe tries to be friendly to his servants, but he does not seem to be getting the hang of it. That night, Alexander ends up having a nightmare and he goes to sleep with Sammy in his bed and as they snuggle up while sleeping, Felipe sees them. The next morning, Sammy starts playing the piano, which no one is allowed to play, and Felipe gets pissed. He tells him to know his place, adding that he is fired. Sammy is then kicked out of the house by Milo, the bodyguard. Sammy is on his way back home when Alexander comes to him on his little car and tells him to hop on. Sammy takes him to his place, but tells him not to reveal his name because everyone there hates his dad. When he gets there, he hears all of them cursing his dad. He, however, has a lot of fun playing with the kids in the streets, and he is also sweet to Sammy's wife. When they are just about to leave, he gets into a fight with a fat kid and kicks his ass. This is when his dad gets there in his car and tells him to come home, but he hugs Sammy, saying he does not want to go, but Sammy tells him that he belongs to his dad, so he should go with him. This is when Milo posts all the videos of Sammy when he was being a dog for Alexander. Everyone watches those videos and Sammy becomes famous, and the whole town hates and insults him for selling himself as a toy. His wife is humiliated and tells him she is done with him. He leaves town for days, no one knows where he is, 
His wife also starts worrying now and keeps trying to call him, but he doesn't answer his phone. All the people hate Felipe even more for buying the common folk as toys. The next day, Alexander makes Felipe give jobs to the people of the town, and when all the people are gathered, Sammy's wife shows up and speaks up for her husband. She tells him that any one of them would have gotten in that box and be a dog if they knew what he was getting paid, and no one speaks against her because they know she is telling the truth. Sammy's wife goes into labor and Felipe finds Sammy and flies him on a plane to the hospital. He has a baby girl and Felipe is also there when they name the girl Sophie. Alexander requests to be made the godfather of the girl and Sammy agrees. Sammy and his dad then go away to take a walk when he tells the boy that he is allowed to do anything he wants and the boy tells him he would like to start a company that sells double spout teapots and his dad agrees. They walk on the grass barefooted and with that, the movie comes to an end. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.